Hey everyone, thank you so much oh for my joining God, us today. It's Todd and welcome Howard. to Bethesda it Game Studios. It just works. You know, we've been so lucky over the decades just to works, make the Todd kind of Howard. games that we love here, and that's thanks to all of you from right, the Elder it Scroll, just Fallout. We love creating these worlds and playing Hot in Towered. them just as much as you do. And throughout Dude, he all sounds time, like a Todd Howard. Talk about and dream like he speaks like a Todd game. Howard. I can't explain it. That feeling of being who you want to be and exploring a new Daddy world, Todd. but set it in space where you weren't really space. limited in where you could go or what you could do. And that are you sure he's not Starfield. wearing a leather jacket? <laughs> Obviously, we've a long way since Is this then, really him? The games we've built, our technology, and all of us here in the Is studio. It? We've done so much together, but well, we've never tried to make a game Classic like this. Classic Todd. Today. You'll get to hear from many on the team and see so much of what we think makes our game special. So let's jump Dude, in he just, and take a he look. He just loves his game so much. People are already bitching about the graphics. Dude, it looks Starfield fine. Also, like I'm sure modders are gonna do their their modding thing, but it's you know. Still a Bethesda RPG through and through, where you step into a new world and you get that feeling. Of a little low on swears today. Is Todd usually time, swearing? It's not just what? one world. It's over a thousand worlds. Thank you, James. Is Jesus? Of where Thank to you. Go, it's not ours. It's yours. Also, the and annoying fan from now, Oblivion makes a return. The to create it. The annoying fan. Who's that? From the rocks at your feet to the mountains in the distance. To the people and creatures. Obsidian will make a worlds. better Elder Scrolls than Bethesda and before. <laughs> that isn't just a backdrop. That moon is actually you might be there right. orbiting the planet. Yes, you can visit it too. That moon is real. It's a real moon. The galaxy around you. Galaxy. Our next generation lighting model uses real time global illumination to light the world based on the type of star and the makeup of the planet's atmosphere. We also have an all new animation system. And of course, what? you can play it in third person. And you can play it in first person. Ooh, baby. We love that switcheroo. We lo we we'd love we be loving that. Exploration and rewarding it, but you do explore differently in this game given its scale. That usually involves exploring an area you've landed in. You can collect resources. Do a mission and maybe even stumble upon something unexpected. A spacer, punk. Yo, get him. Sick him. Thought I'd pop by and say I'm eating a plate of celery just to trigger a certain streamer. Disgusting! How dare you? How dare you eat a celery and then come in here? Pretend everything's aight? You know what? Despite my opinions on celery, I hope you enjoy it. We do love stuff I hope you enjoy that you dirty, crunchy up. dirt you water. Can all that in your data yeah. Menu. Oh, that's what I was thinking. This like, the hub for everything you're doing. it seemed from like they the actually improved ship, the the gunplay a lot inventory. from the last we love to uh, preview a last detail year. In every object, from all of your weapons to spacesuits. It's looking less like that janky Fallout food. 4 combat and more. Over the details and food. We obsess oh, over the food, food looks pretty good too. I'm getting hungry. When you're done exploring, it almost looks like cyberpunk gunplay now. To your ship, we have companions and crew you can take with you. I even it almost even reminded me a bit of like Welcome Andromeda, back, Mass Effect and Andromeda gunplay with like the jumping around Let's and the jetpack and stuff. Our mission was to convey the one. Is there an oxygen meter? God, I hope not. I don't want to be worrying moments, about being able to breathe while I'm playing. It'd be so flight. annoying. There might be that. To this approach as NASA That's what bugs me about Borderlands pre-sequel. Is advanced, yet still looks grounded and relatable. For us, it's, it's that contrast. That's where the visual interest is. The contrast. Obviously, the NASA, which is the Andromeda was fun. Function over style. I will say Andromeda. And then Punk, which is the gameplay was style. really fun. It was just like the you characters and the story. Style was so annoying. Your ship. your ship is your home for you and your crew. 
and like many of the spaces in our game, it has a slightly retro and analog No touch. BLPS no mechanics? Wait, what's BLPS? Where everything is well used, worn, and lived in. Alrighty. The what's sandwich. The plan, this is your star map. It starts with the planet you're currently on. You can see all of its info and resources. You can choose a landing spot or fast travel to known locations. It is nice they're giving us like an actual in-depth review of in the how the game's going to work. Obviously the game is big and it's here you can see planets that have key locations, missions or life on them versus the many planets that are barren but resource heavy. Hmm. Zoom out even further to see all the systems in this part of the galaxy. Here you can plot a course to ones that are light years away. This uses your ship's grav drive to fold space and jump to these systems. And like this game might actually be huge. Skills if you want to it's jump to the most distant ones. No, but, but really, now, we'll plot a course to the Alpha Centauri system. Might be insanely big. Where we can find the city of New Atlantis. Yeah, Borderlands pre-sequel. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For real though, please don't make me run to like air pockets for oxygen. Welcome I would die. I know running out of oxygen is realistic, but the fun part of making a game is saying, reality sucks. True. Goaded and true. Three discs on release. God, yeah, how freaking, okay. You all, y'all wanna make a guess right now how many, uh, how big this game is gonna be? How many like gigs Atlantis, of space it's gonna take up? Oh my god. Upwards to just I don't even want to know. Vast buildings. It's the what game is this? This is Starfield. This made. is the new uh, Bethesda size, game. But also in the amount of custom art, crowds, and quests. So the main focus when we're designing a city 120 is gigs, dang. The story. Also, Jay Ryder, how you doing? Hello. Stories as possible. 500 a gigabytes. A Just a mere little It's a few moments of gameplay that make this game feel like it's full about of about it. real characters that are going about their day-to-day -day lives. It's gonna be this big. You know, stop and think about it. Buddy, it's coffee. Huh, 420. It's also, Yo, they should make it a 420 just for the memes. Begins. 42069. Everyone on Twitter, Twitter was freaking out, we but we do this every time Bethesda the time comes out with a new game. Them, yeah. Constellation is sort it's of going to take how much memory? Group. Most people don't even know they exist anymore. They're the last true explorers in the galaxy, and they're trying to find the answers to some of humanity's biggest questions. The artifacts are so different, so alien, and I'm certain one of them reached out and spoke to you. The artifact, if you could place it on the table here. Oh my god, look at how oh it's coming god. together. That means there's a set built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. It's definitely an eclectic cast of characters. You've got Sarah Morgan, the recommended specs certainly aren't for giving old computers. Yeah. Leader. You really Mateo, do need like the such a good computer to play a lot of the games these days, like any game there. that comes out recently. Noel, the gifted scientist and Sarah Morgan's protege and Walter, a very successful businessman <laughs> in the settled Day systems, one patch size of the Constellations game. Financier. Anything goes. There's a time when Call of Duty Modern Warfare was not able to run on the 2013 PS4 Cole, due to how big it was. Damn, that's great. And Barrett. You know what I hate about these pirates? Completely resistant to my otherwise irresistible charm. <laughs> the journey you take with Constellation. I just, is just I just really want there to be good characters. On. The settled systems is like that's all, all I really care about. Stories, people, and adventures for you to uncover. Oh, I, oh, okay. That that alien's pretty sick. But like. That, oh god. I, like, as long as you give me good characters and side quests and stuff. Atlantis, the first major human I'll be into it. In space. The this game's like three different here, games in one, yeah. Law, discipline, and the yeah, hopefully there's gonna be some space they romance. The true children of Earth. You ever think of joining up with a Vanguard? Can we bang aliens? Just kidding. Even get your UC Just kidding. This doesn't have to be Mass New Effect. Atlantis isn't the only city within the United Colonies. The city of Sidonia on Mars to this day serves as the largest mining facility for the United Colonies. Robomance. Yo, take it that next step further. 
Let me clap alien Beyond cheeks. The United Colonies reach, you might find yourself in a much more wild and independent coalition of star systems. It doesn't have to be Mass Effect, but if there's an alien this with the free star collecting space, <laughs> the Rydals. Man. The capital of the Free Star Collective yeah, I, is Aquila City. It's seeming like the Stone Root Inn is in Aquila City. I don't think they're City gonna fixture. have like talkable aliens like Mass Effect or like Star Wars. It's looking like all the aliens are gonna be these weird animalistic creatures. It's gonna be humans mostly. As a fishing platform, but is now known throughout the settled systems as a pleasure city where almost anything goes. If you've got pleasure city issues, this definitely isn't the I don't like that. Well, we we're just talking about romance. I roll seduce on the alien. The best and brightest of today yeah, we're the aliens. Everyone has been chewed up and ground up by neon. Space cowboys. So get killed, all right. Ooh. Outside See, the these bounds are the... of civilized space, there are still plenty of unclaimed systems to explore. See, it's but like the civilized planets, the civilized space that's, in the that's interesting to me. I want to know what these towns are the about. Great serpent hungers. What the hell? All heathens shall be made Snake aliens? That speak? A new face. This is the face of a brave runner here to challenge the Red Mile. Okay, that looks they cool. Think the galaxy is theirs. They are wrong. It belongs to Altered the Altered carbon fleet. vibes, yeah. It always has. In Starfield, we're pushing our cities and settlements further than we ever have before. It's all there, waiting for you. A slice of humanity's future. Slice and dice, baby. So, ready to get out there? Always. Throughout the galaxy, there are so many things to see. Oh, he did. I like doing that death from above thing where I boost pack. No, guys nothing wrong with a little down. extra pizzazz. <laughs> nothing wrong at all. You're gonna pay. I like blowing stuff up. Once we had created a grounded world, we could start looking at all the things that make that Whoa. world fun. He's when you leave fun a planet looking. And head into space. Adoring you fan, and you can build an outpost Having that can be crewed pretty much anywhere. Ooh, that's sick. Space and exploring Is that ships. romanceful? Ew! <laughs> no! I don't want that weird turkey-looking dinosaur. Dispatch. Be ready for a code it's 50. Oh, oh, no! The medium tees and supervisor once she hits the floor. Ultimately, <laughs> hit it's the about floor. rewarding your curiosity. You mean like dancing, right? Because when I hit the floor it's dancing? Because the surface of a planet, the we're getting alleys wild? of a city... Or the vastness of space. Wild and crazy. You never know what you'll find. Space exploration is possible thanks to your ship. Your ship is almost like having another character or home you can make all your own. I think you'll be blown away by the amount of stuff you can do. You can buy a ship. I'm sure you can find something you like. Customize and upgrade that ship. And hire a crew to keep it up and running. <clears throat> and it all starts in spaceports. Every spaceport has a ship technician where you can purchase, sell, and modify ships. Anything I can help you with? Maybe you start off with a speedy fighter that's perfect for bounty hunting. Then you might round out your ship roster with a hulking space freighter to run cargo missions, or even do a little smuggling. For now though, we're going to take our starting ship, the Frontier, and make some changes. You can customize and upgrade everything you see here. And you have two ways to do that. You can quickly upgrade individual systems like your weapons or shields, or you can deep dive and enter the shipbuilder mode. Here you can ship change builder! from the systems we build in to ships. the look and layout. Adding a new habitat module can give you more room for crew. Adding cowling can change. Wait, ship's should I miss it? Was there an oxygen gauge? An improved grab oh, drive fuck. allows oh, for longer distance space jumps. You can even fully customize your paint job to get the exact look you want. The parts you choose to build with don't just affect your ship's stats. The slave one, is that what it's called? You can called? do inside your ship. 
You can have modules for crafting. Space survival would be cool, it might be tedious. Your you know, it would Starfield actually be it would be pretty interesting if um bring their own look and feel to every piece of your ship. If they had From it like quarters um, to cargo holds, toggleable. Halls, like if you could put on this like a really survival type mode or you could just turn it off completely. Or maybe they might even make a mod for that. Our modified frontier is a practical ship. But with a little creativity, oh, I'm so buying this like game. Yeah, it's looking like it's going to be pretty good. It's a bit odd, but one of my favorite ways of customizing ships is, um, yeah, make like follow like hardcore animals. mode. Exactly. Do they have a hardcore mode. The HMS Platypus is like platypus. What? Oh, it do be looking like a platypus. I see why they called it a platypus. Okay. No, but yeah, I could totally see like, um. Even modders, like, you know how with modders made, uh, like, Fallout 4 mods that made it super hardcore, and, like, they made mods that made it into, like, a scary game or into, like, a super, like, winter survival game. I could see mods, modders doing that for this, like, making a super hardcore survival space game, which would be sick, but I just hope <laughs> if there's, like, a part of that that's in the main game, I hope that's... Where it had a, either like an a option. giant tail to it. Yeah, Skyrim's survival mod, exactly spiders, that too. We've done mechs. So it's really whatever your imagination is. And while you can build your home among the stars the way it's already you out. want it's called to, No Man's Sky. True, you're probably not the true. only person who will call your ship home. I'm gonna make my ship similar to Jeff Bezos' rocket ship. Oh, you so you're gonna make a dick? Okay, Engine's yeah. Engine's ready. <laughs> The frontier is fueled and ready. A dick captain. ship. Some of the yep. members of Constellation can join you on your <laughs> journey. <laughs> These companions can serve on your... Actually, that's funny. It reminds me. I've been watching Mythic Quest. I don't know if any of you have seen that show. It's on Apple TV. It has that guy who's in... Um, it's Always Sunny. It's pretty good, actually. It, it really, like... <laughs> it really just rips into gaming culture, but it's pretty funny. A Richard ship, if you will. But literally, like, there's this one part of it where they're they're talking about game development and stuff, and they're like, you know, we know one thing about gamers, and it's like, if you can build something, they will always make a dick. <laughs> there's True. always going to be and a dick always built. Be there when you travel. That's how we'll we work. Traveling together like, yep. until we either Have you played sport? Or this lead runs dry. The Each shovel, yup. The shovel, exactly. Ships and outposts as well as unique quest lines. Eventually, some friendships might blossom into romance. I don't know that I've oh! ever really loved anyone except you. Romance! For help on your ship, There's you gonna be romanceable NPCs! Got any room I'm down, I'm sold. Ship for someone like me? I wonder how many You'll romance also meet options. potential crew members out in the world. Still think there might be a spot for me on your ship? I gotta get off this rock. No, I'm leaving it here. <laughs> Making space babies. And just It'll like be called the dictator. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Instance, he's designed around the, the core basics of a NASA machine. Because like with Fallout 4, there's only what? Like six romance die. options or less? I still wanted to give it almost a humanoid personality, so I elongated the limbs. This tends to make him feel... More Wait, can you make your own max? Personality. It is a shame. Exploration requires so much bloodshed. Damn. Using the ship building tools and crew selection features in Starfield. The Phallus you'll be able to build and in the ship of your <laughs> These dreams. These dick ship names are so good. Holy shit. And now, let's take to the sky. <laughs> the Phallus. Holy shit. Romance? Ew, cringe. I'm making a Rambo, a Rambo or you, to go the with the space thing, a Mando spaceship. type character. <gasps> Yo, a Mandalorian anything. type character would be really cool awesome. For us as Can we make a little baby Yoda to space go with flight. them? Should be exciting and dangerous. Red rocket. And you should feel like you're in complete control. <laughs> Wait, that's really good life. too. Horrible, but good. We've extended that sense of control. They do have the jetpacks. Yeah, you can make a whole Mandalorian build. I bet. 
It's a That'd complex be awesome. dance between your piloting skills and our power allocation system. A complex dance. Boosting power to your engines. Much like a ballet. Faster. That looks so freaking cool. It really does. Will it really the does. Of time it takes before you can make a jump. Jumping. And moving your power <laughs> to your weapons and shields means you're Austin ready for Powers fight. build. You should always be on your toes because you're not alone Tozy out there. Cozy wozies. Unlocking the targeting control system skill will allow you to zero in on specific subsystems of the ship you target. That seems good. It seems like they really nailed it, though, with the, like, um... Like, being able to customize your ship and the fact that they have actual ship battles. Like, After this is what people want in ship, space games. You can loot the remains from your cockpit. You can always no turn dick any talk? Ship that you Me, banana! You just missed the dick talk. We were literally just talking about dick ships. But you can also take we got some classics. Approach. We got like the Phallus the 5, Red Rocket, The Dictator. <laughs> Don't worry. We always we always be <laughs> having the Richard talks here, okay? Once you've taken control of an enemy ship, it's yours. Add it to your fleet and retrieve it at any the space. The Jeff port. Bezos cope. But space is way more than fighting oh, for your life. Oh, all fabulous, fabulous ship names. Just I thought Mass Effect Andromeda side, gave me my space high. This will be even better. Yeah. On the way yeah, to your next I think adventure. so. I think so. Like these massive stars. Optimus yards. Peen. <laughs> Walk the hall. Dude. Talk to the crew. Oh my god, Maybe these ship names I can't. Y'all are too funny. Let's see about getting you a Optimus Peen. You. Maybe you'll dock with a gigantic You can hijack people's ship ships. That is fucking vigilance. crazy. You can be you can literally make space pirates. You can literally be space pirates. Or the penetrator. The oh my god. The cruise ship fit for the stars. Yo. There are plenty of personal encounters to be had as well. You can hail any ship you come across. If they Train, let me build a ship, info. it's going to be called the Tactical Fellatio Stop. Deep Space when Nine Inches. Stop. Um, I definitely go, like, oh my god, these routes. are so funny. Um, I want to take over Holy ships. Shit, I'm going to board ships. I'm like, this is now mine. I steal all the sandwiches and put them, you know, in my cargo hold <laughs> that I have specifically Space pirates. for sandwiches. I don't want to play the I hero. am pirate flag. Um, so I want to go out and just start taking things from people as quickly as possible. Oh my god, you guys. Some strangers Sandwich? might be looking for a little human connection in the darkness of space. Hello, stranger. The Erecticator. 69,000. <laughs> Some of the best 20 peens the over the sea, y'all. <laughs> Holy shit. The thing I love most about Starfield is yeah, that no, it is a no bread butts. Through and through. No bread really nubs on those sandwiches. Places, you know what astronauts don't have? And getting bread nubs. On zany you ever see you ever then, seen an astronaut with a bread nub? Later, that you're involved in Never. A completely new story. Ever see you ever seen an astronaut do human, a bread reach around? We thought we were the only ones to leave Earth. That DNA is so present here. It's in our random encounters, it's in our nope. handcrafted quests. And it feels so what so game cool is this? Play it and Caves? Your own path in this universe. Are you memeing? There are over are a you memeing right now? This is Starfield. Just waiting for you to this visit. is Mother Heckin' Starfield. We want you to feel like exploring. This is about stars? Breaking and ships? On new planets, exploring and space? Every inch of a mostly untouched all the things. Galaxy. All the things you could want and need. We want you to feel hopeful. We want you to feel this sense of awe and wonder. And sometimes, a little fear. Ooh, okay, spooky. Haven't seen any toys. fields though. True, true, Andy. That's false advertising. I could sue. We could all. We could all sue. This is dick space. <laughs> Bread reach around is hey, crazy. It do be so much stuff. But we thought we'd just take a little break and show you something a, a little bit different. You know, we put so much detail into our game Dude, world. Dude, is Todd ever not stroking his own ego? To bring that into the real world with our collector's I'm editions. I'm honestly just wondering. And for this game, 
Uh, we've got a watch. It is the Constellation Explorer's Watch. Um, this is the watch that you actually get in the game that acts as part of your HUD, where it's the compass and then environmental information. Ooh. It connects to your phone to give you notifications and other information. It connects to your phone? Oh, really my God. Cool Wait, you could actually buy the Eastwood. watch? Like, and it works with yeah, the we game? we really took as much care and designed this case as we did to watch. Our attention to detail in the game totally translates to this. I mean, inspired by it's the better than the Fallout 76 the helmet era, you could get that gives you asbestos. <laughs> it's got the intricate locking mechanism, authentic, heavy, comes with a constellation patch, NATO strap, and the overall functionality and believability of this as something that would exist in the world. Where's a Skyrim re-release? Oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. No we way! A watch that tells else. the time? Now that we're part of Xbox, That's crazy. we get to work with the amazing people on the Xbox hardware <laughs> it's team. Your Todd straight up got a boner right now. <laughs> limited edition Starfield controller. It's awesome. himself it speak. is now, you know, our favorite controller. We love our this games are just so good and so cool, and we work so hard every Not day that, on our games, that, which are good and cool, and you will like custom it. custom headset with Xbox, and this is a perfect pairing with that controller. Lasting Starman by David Bowie when this comes out. Yo, someone, someone has to make like a Sebace playlist games, for this we game. put so much care into all those little details that breathe life. I have to play in 76. I want to breathe in some asbestos. <laughs> Yo, it's okay. Game that, they knew that. It's a Bethesda The devs provided Dallas. that for you. Actually, I shouldn't so say the devs. It wasn't on them. It was the higher ups. It was Todd Howard himself. Because we want to give you freedom on a galactic <laughs> He put the level. asbestos in there. <laughs> freedom to experience both the exciting planets and the quiet ones. Scanning a planet before you land is a I great like way to get a sneak peek You're crazy, me, banana man. You can use for crafting. You're insane for that. Customers. No, but I heard it is a lot better now. What's cool about this whole system? The collector's we edition though was was still trash. Content. But the handcrafted content itself comes as the player explores. Space play is on the way. Do it! Our system builds a planet as the player I can already think it, of some. We stitch you need like um. Block of terrain. After that, we have the system. Oh God, that what's adds it called? Interested locations for the player to explore, creatures to encounter. Oh my gosh! Okay, it'll come to me. Or in But yeah, no, I I can think of some some space classics to already. That touch of Except I immediately forgot what it's called. So is known for. I am not helpful. Aggressive creatures have been disrupting our experiments. Their habitat isn't far from here. It's pretty decent now, especially with the Atlantic us, City expansion coming out. Okay, so that's good. Your yeah, I've heard it. They just the improved everything. Because it was a different jank on release. <laughs> My name is Red Dragon. Ooh, okay, cool. Wait, how bad are you in the Discord? Because if you're in the Discord, there's a music channel. So if you make a playlist, you can post it there. No? Well, if you wish to join or anyone does. Yeah, thank you, Wes. There's our Discord right there. The Pirate Brigade. A freebooter. Oh, the Shamak. This looks like fun gameplay. It looks a lot better than like Fallout 4 gameplay. Whether you want to explore and see what you can find. Harvest yeah, Dune soundtrack be would be sick. Or simply take in the views. Major Tom! With the help of your scanner, yes, okay, that, finally. That's what I was thinking of. Major wildlife. Tom is another song. If you have the skills, you can even figure out that certain creatures and plants, you can the build pistol an whip. and produce resources from those plants and animals. You can get experience and rewards for fully surveying planets and fully surveying a whole yes, system. Yes, Starlight Brigade! Thank you, Cypress. I was also thinking of that one, but could not we think of the... Creatures. We really wanted to think could of not think of the name. Yeah, the Starlight Brigade with Dan Avedon. Dan Avedon. Major Tom. Something you've never seen before. Um, Daft Punk Tron soundtrack, yes. When the sun moves, all that light it, it is kind of is like a better No Man's Sky, essentially. The they, it seems like they took the No Man's Sky the idea and just ran with it. To use lighting and color. No Man's really Sky walked so that cinematic. this game could run. Oh, you don't see the music channel? Wait. Did you press the little uh, button in the welcome? 
Let me see. So yeah, you've got to press the bagel button in rules, and then you should see all the channels. There's a music share option in the hideout. The hideout channels. After some exploring, There's a you button. can find a spot yeah. to set up a base camp. Yeah, it just gives you access to all the channels. Outpost if you join the Discord anywhere on any planet, and you go to the rules, you read the and rules, the and then you click the all shapes and sizes, filling the, uh, all different purposes. bagel reaction, you and then you should get access. Assign crew and companions to work at your outpost for added bonuses, and set up extractors to harvest resources while you're away. Something cool we have this time is here's the Discord, a guys. Here's the link where you can toggle between on foot building or you can now use a top down isometric camera. Holy which helps shit! Plan out <laughs> larger parts of the outpost and placing those larger halves. So that way you can really plan your structure. It's a whole and new what world. The feel of your outpost is. And then when you're on your feet, you can really decorate and fine tune things much easier. <clears throat> <laughs> Jam Graham? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm on, I'm on Instagram now. I'm predicting a space atom shop. Oh, yeah, probably. With like microtransactions, most likely. Crafting and research stations in your outpost to utilize Can I hang up waifu post posters have. in my bases? <laughs> Let's hope. Mod we can only hope. To adapt them to your playstyle. Different weapon sites Who and does scopes, this guy look like? Larger magazines. A selection of grips He definitely and looks like a guy who like exists. Explosive rounds. All you stealth players out there will surely need a suppressor. I think playing this game stealth would be you pretty sick. You can also sick. choose to go hands-on with melee weapons. Stab, stab. I do, I, I always, always do like this stab approach like, though, to be honest. Realistic? Hollywood. The Phallus 5 is always welcoming like, wife posters. <laughs> oh man. Of course. With Starfield, we've completely overhauled. This guy combat. looking like a guy and whatnot. <laughs> the animations more fluid. It just feels great. We probably have more mods and more weapons in this game than <laughs> I want to say any other game we've done before. There's a lot of variety. I like seeing old saw guns in the game, yeah. Factors to pay attention to There's no katana! <laughs> to switch things up based on your environment. There's gotta be. Yo, there's... I mean, they Gravity have melee weapons. Planet, there's gotta be a space katana. Like, I would, put, I would put money on it. That there's a space katana somewhere in this combat. game. Sometimes you'll even feel like you're flying. A white Neil deGrasse. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Zero gravity environments pose a different challenge. Firing a ballistic weapon in zero G will actually push you backwards. It's called a space Tana. True. Energy weapons, True. on the other hand, offer a more stable shooting experience. I want to carbon fire a Tana. <laughs> These are high-powered the electromagnetic spot, induction dude. ballistic arrays. Each a carbon fire a Tana. Dish out some serious damage. Okay. <laughs> okay, bud spot. Robot model? Close and personal with your own two fists. <laughs> oh, oh. Or you like more compact weapons like bop, pistols bop, and blam, blam. guns. Or maybe you prefer something bigger. Explosions! Starfield's got you covered. Oh, did you see that one helmet though? Wait, I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting this isn't a live stream and I can pause it. But wait, wait, wait. Cause it, you could probably design the spacesuits and shit. Wait a sec. Starfield's got you covered. Look, look at this helmet. That's cool. You could put like designs on it, probably. I want to see a black hole gun. Yes. Yo, they have a black hole gun. Black hole gun. Won't you come? Wash away the pain. Like, please. 
don't want to see a penis gun. I mean, who doesn't? I think Phallus 5 needs a freighter called the Black Hole for docking purposes. Dude, these, these dick ship ideas, I gotta give y'all credit. Good lord. Wait, they showed the sword? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh my god, pause. Jesus Christ. This part's so loud in my ears. I was... Is there, wait, is there a space sword? Spacey, there's a space knife. I was very distracted by the dick ships. Space sword, space sword. Further back. I want to see the space sword. Dude, I have to be like so ADHD right now. Oh, oh, is that it? Yo, it's looking pretty sick. It's not quite katana-y. That gun looks cool. But like, I will take a space sword. I will accept that. Little knife, little jab jab, stab stab. That was it. Yo, but if they have a space sword, like they gotta have a katana looking sword, right? Like, am I right? Oh, he flying! What? No way! You get power? Thanks again for being with us today. We are just so grateful that you've taken the time and spent it here. I know there's Bruh? probably a lot to take in. There's a lot to the game, even more than four we can show stuff. Here. You know, as we play, dude, if they give you force powers or something, that only a game like that would this can actually be so but sick. About what makes it Jedi special. has entered the game. <laughs> people here. This game is a reflection of the incredible. <laughs> the force has entered the chat. I got All one name for a ship. Putting something Appeal special of, of themselves. <laughs> so let's hear That's some great. of their favorite moments. I love the way that our final combination of all the new tech has come together to create some of the most beautiful sunsets and sunrises we've ever had in any of our games. I love the creatures, the exploration, every biome is different. The word that comes to mind is vast. I like to use our photo mode to take rock stars. Photo photos. mode! I just love that mm, constant mm, feel mm. of discovery. This is a photo and, mode. Wow, I can't believe that there's <gasps> more here. Oh my gosh. I'm most excited about our outpost building systems. My favorite part is every time you step out on a planet, it's a unique experience. You spent all Ew, this time building did you your see ship, those jellyfish you squids? See it on the landing pad. These things I guess a knife gigantic. is okay with me. It's the kind of thing that As you just can't they get have, They else. have one of them long knives. I think they, they call them and going, swords. They, have, they have one. I think I can make that jump. My favorite part is biomes, spaceships, audio design, planets, the day-night cycle. Those details matter to me. Diplomacy, The day-night cycle. Freedom, That's what's got him hype. Fesco. Obviously. The day night I love cycle. The robot so much. The incredible. Why does she look familiar? Is she a person Cyber I should rifles? know? Come on, lever action, rocket launcher, brain sprout. Ew! Ew! Some people might find creepy. Uh, I know it's right, Ben. Dude, he is the someone who would love I a brain sprout. The game that was nasty, the though. What the hell? Be who you want to be? Do what beach? You wanna what? Do. There's beaches in it's space. It's what you've come to expect from a Bethesda title. But on a yeah, I hope there's scale. a space radio. There's gotta be, right? That would be so sick. Honestly, on half of all of us, we can't wait for you to play Starfield and make your own special moments. I just wonder, like they focus so much on gameplay, which is good. But they really haven't said anything about like the writing or like the stories and character that much, like characters. And I wonder, I wonder if it, if they're gonna have. What's the date? Oh, it's all separated. September sixth, guys. September sixth.
But yeah, I wonder if it's going to have like a humorous writing, kind of like Fallout series does, or if they're going to take a more serious approach. Full ass open world, zero quests. <laughs> Dude, it's a full ass open universe. That universe open ass. <laughs> Anyway, ignore I said that. NPC player, the game. Yeah, I just, I really, I just wish they kind of focus more on, um, just what the, what the actual story is going to be about. Because at the end of the day, like, that's what's going to keep me invested in the game. Is if the side quests are actually interesting and intriguing, you know? I feel like building stuff and shooting guys can only take me so far. Like, uh, you know, I feel like I need a reason for why I'm doing these things. Do, but they did, they did say a little bit, at least there's going to be romanceable characters. So we know that much. That's good. You need a solid connection with an NPC. True, dude. It, 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 it'd be about that solid connection with the NPCs. You know, it's not all about the dick ships. Wait, okay, I'm just gonna... Because I totally missed the character creator part, which is like... One of my favorite things. Wait, we might watch a bit of this again. boo doo 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 Hey, come on. Come on. Okay, take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Okay, so it seems like they're going to have a little bit of humor of still. This look familiar? Oh yeah, New Vegas isn't but that's the true. You start your character creation journey as though you're cycling through employee records. You'll pick from a lineup of 40 presets oh. and that'll be your starting point. Your Thank you for the follow. Can be Hello. As detailed or as quick as you want it to be. This new system has more to offer than ever before. Woo! We love an in-depth character creator! It's also the simplest character generation system we've ever had. We let the player get as close as possible to make whatever they want. With the various facial morphs you can blend together, the dermesthetic and makeup, blemishes, scars, piercings, teeth settings. It's a lot, but I think it's the most yeah, fun It's to a use. lot. No, it seems like you get a lot of options. Character creation I'm is so, more oh than my just gosh. how you look. I'm so happy, like, when character creators do that, where you can actually, like, layer stuff. Like, you can have scars, and also, like, these facial things, and face paint, and, like, it's not just one or the other. Or you can have multiple different scars, like, stuff like that. This is also where you start to decide who you want to be. That's where backgrounds come in. Facial hair looks bad! Backgrounds give it you isn't a the best looking facial hair. Oh, okay. with three basic skills. From chef to dusty. You know, the crew still has a betting pool about which restaurant critic you must have crossed to wind up here. What's great about backgrounds Can is I work on my one-headed skill in this game? Hopefully. Handy. You could be in the middle of a fancy restaurant, talking to some guy, and suddenly you learn he needs a beast hunter to help track down a monster. Fine. I probably should stick to professionals anyway, given what happened the last time. We're also oh, shit. giving you the option to customize your build even further by letting you pick up to three traits. Traits are completely optional, and they come right, this is the background stuff I was talking about. You empath. I'm kind friend. of an empath in a video game, in the, in the Starfield video game. Really, really you. Hey! There's the, there's the fan y'all were talking about. This constant commentary. That's funny. I believe I get to stand near you, breathing the same he, This fan was originated... Every molecule. My favorite what? trait is kid stuff. You have to pay some credits to support your parents, but they're very sweet and it's really fun to go visit them. Honey, we got ourselves. Oh my god, you can literally visit your parents. <laughs> if you get this one trait, you have parents that you can visit. That's so funny. <laughs> oh my god. It's the oblivion. Yeah, it was oblivion. <laughs> it was oblivion. That's so funny. I think the fan, yeah. Because I, I, I didn't know what y'all were talking about before, but seeing him, I really... He's like, like that weird little, like, uh, smurf-looking elf character with the hair like this. <laughs> he's like, oh my god! Why did he originate again? Like, why is he a... <laughs> is he a part of a... Why did they make him? Fucking tormented nerd. 
is back. <laughs> the torment nerd. <laughs> oh, man. It's the same voice actor, too. Yes! Yes! That's amazing. You got the title of champion in Arena in Oblivion. Oh! Champion. So you got that fan. Yo, you got that fan. And they shrimp for you. That is so funny. You get to visit your parents. Disadvantages. You could choose to meet your biggest fan. Is it really, really you? So is this because of a trait you picked? And I'll give you gifts if you're willing to put up with this constant commentary. I can't believe I get to stand near you, breathing. What trait gives you this annoying fan? Every molecule. That's so funny. So like it actually affects the story. The traits. You have to pay some credits to support your parents, but they're very sweet, and it's really fun to go visit them. Honey, we got ourselves a visitor. Oh my God. I came across some hostile oh zealots in space, but because I had chosen a trait that made me the same religion as them, I was able to get by without any issues. There's another great one that gives you a damage buff when your health is low, but mercenaries will randomly show up and try to kill you. Oh. No matter what you choose, well, there will be plenty of ways for you to tell your Diplomat, story. Diplomat, cyber runner, sick. Trait, there are ways to do that too. What a view. You can just remove traits? Goddamn. The Therapy? Off we go. To another adventure. Oh. We'll let you discover that on your own. You can just murder the adoring fan? Bruh. So you can pick the adoring fan and then you can just murder. <laughs> oh my god. Once the player is the just like, I've had enough. That's when your journey can really begin. We took what we loved about skills and perks from our previous games and put them together to create an all new skill system. Each time you level up, you get a skill point, which can be used to unlock or rank up skills. Okay. I think we saw this, but yeah, no, I just wanted to go back into the character creator thing. That seems dope though. Yeah, Starfield has the force. We saw that, that scene at the very end where like, I, I do like how they introduce that, actually, because they don't mention anything about it. And then at the very end, he's just like, hey, I can lift y'all with my hand powers. And it's like, what? what? But yeah, no, it looks sick. Um, I had no, I was not expecting any sort of powers like that at all. So the fact that you can just like turn on and off gravity. Pretty heckin dope. Pretty heckin dope.